Joining us now is Ojinika Oji Ogbe with stories trending around the world. Hello, Jinix. Morning, Dr. Abati. How are you this morning? Morning, Ayo. Morning, Ojinika. Morning, morning, Rufai. Morning, Ojinika. Well, all right. Well, let's begin what's trending. By paying tribute to the group CEO of Access Bank, Dr. Herbert Wigwe, who died in a helicopter crash in the United States alongside his wife, Doreen Wigwe, his son, Cheesy Wigwe, and Abimbola Ogun Banjo, the former group chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, PLC. Wigwe and his family were headed to Las Vegas to watch the Super Bowl when the helicopter crashed near a border city between Nevada and California on Friday, February 9th, around 10 p.m. Access Holdings confirmed the death of Wigwe in a statement on Sunday describing him as a key driving force and a larger-than-life personality who brought his remarkable passion, energy, and experience to the transformation of the Access franchise since joining the bank in 2002. I had the pleasure of interviewing Herbert Wigwe in July 2019, and he gave an insight to his values, personal style, and his most treasured possessions. Hello, Herbert. Yes, Oji, please come in. Thank you for having us today. Thank you. Oh my God, I could be fooled that we're in a gallery. Well, we enjoy collecting. And so um, this represents some of uh, the pieces that we have. So, yes. I can see you're such a huge art lover. What is your favorite piece in this room? I think each piece means something to me. Um, I like all of them for different reasons. You know, there are several several that inspire me, but I, I think I kind of like each and every one of them for a different reason. What is your must-have artwork? My must-have artwork? Different, um, difficult to say, but I think I have a lot of uh, Ben and Wonwoos, you know, because he, he did create pieces. Trick question. You just said Ben and Noel, so I'll ask you. The Mona Lisa or Ben and Noel's tutu? If you're African, it's, it's, it's Africa's Mona Lisa. And Tutu is truly beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Beautiful. And a lot of history behind it, by the way. Can we take a walk towards your gallery slash office? Because I Aha. see, walking in here, I saw so many art pieces that you have. But before we do that, what gives you joy? What gives me joy? Watching my people be the best that they can be. What was the last country you visited? Ghana. Ah, why Ghana? <laughs> We do have a business there, and so I go quite often. We have meetings out there, yes. Do you have your phone with you? Not here. Where's your phone? It's in my office. Can we have someone get his phone for me? So you have your phone right here. All right. Um, so tell me, how much time do you spend on social media? It depends on what you mean. Um, if it is on WhatsApp messages, on WhatsApp, I would say cumulatively in a day, maybe, what would you say, four hours? Twitter for us. Really? Twitter or Instagram? No, Twitter more like. All right. In a tweet, tell your followers something people don't know about you. Very difficult. I think I'm a very transparent person. <laughs> I think most people know a lot about me. I don't think so. But can Absolutely. you just think of one little yeah, tweet that you can have? Just real quick. That people don't know about me? Yes. Very emotional. So how do you deal with negative press? Um, I have my own defense mechanisms. I think that um, it depends on what the negative press is about. If it has to do with business, um, we would basically set up as a team, uh, see what the implications on our business is, and then um, respond. Now, more pieces here that's, that are interesting. Um, obviously, this is the Doba. Um, and of course, you can see the Emir of Kano, uh, different excerpts of the book of the, of the Doba. Um, a great piece out here by Yeson. Um, but this is particularly interesting, and I think it's interesting and it's one of my favorites. We normally have the marathon every year, and this is actually the marathon live, captured by um, the drones. So these are people, these are people. Um, last year we had well over 200,000 people running. So these are all people, but I think this is on the 10 kilometer stretch. So it was captured by the drone, and if you don't look well, you can't tell. But this is, this is straight from the last marathon. All right, this is a huge space. You're definitely a successful man, Mr. Wigwe. What does success mean to you? I don't know about being successful. 
I, well, it's a relative thing, but I think um, my greatest success will be my people. Um, you can only be as successful as your people and what you like. But I think, quite frankly, each time uh, we have access to people doing great things, it means quite a lot to all of us. And to me personally. What would you like to be remembered for? What would I like to be remembered for? As one who contributed in creating uh, one of the largest financial institutions in the continent, um, one that basically um, helped build an institution that will be remembered over time, all right, as an institution that will be able to compare favorably with all the other large and successful financial um, institutions in the world. That is one aspect that has to do with my career. What is your proudest moment? Difficult to tell. Um, there has been several. Um, I think one of them obviously was um, on a personal basis, my my first son's graduation and, and for no other reason but um, seeing your first that you put in a lot of effort doing well in school. What is your biggest learning experience? Several. How complex the human being is. Um, while the human being is the most perfect machine, um, he represents a very, very complex um, 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 you know, constructs in terms of their thinking, in terms of expectations and emotions and all of that. And it's just coming through several uh, things which we've had to do in terms of combinations and all. But, but it's, it's, it's nothing. And of course, the most important thing is that there's no favor you can do to anybody or that can be repaid or any favor that's been done to you that you can repay. Random question, whose career do you admire and respect the most? I think there are several people who've um, done well and it doesn't have to be in the field of banking. Um, I've seen people who have excelled um, as business people. Obviously, um, one of the most important institutions in this country um, and, and one that we remain extremely proud of is the Dangote Institution. So um, several people who have, who have worked there, starting from the founder, Mr. Dangote, um, is, is definitely a mentor and one we look, we, we look up to. Um, I think in the context of our institution and, and, and banking, um, there are other people who've done exceedingly well. Um, Mr. Sfola, Adela, Taya Deroko are real role models. Uh, my partner, Aigi Mokwede. So these are people who have done very well in their careers and have, apart from financial services, done other great things that are worthy of emulation. All right, I'm going to ask you a really fun question, but I think we could do that in the gallery. So what do you consider the most overrated virtue? I think love is, um, and the simple reason is that um, you can love several people, you can love your children, you will love your spouse, you can love your staff. They're all worthy of being loved. And so sometimes people use the word uh, in a manner that I just think is overrated. Uh, because you must be able to, to, to show it to several different uh, uh, stakeholders and people and family and staff, etc. That's not, that for me is, is what it is. All right, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I wouldn't be able to. So I don't have much to do. So I would like to keep myself the way I am. What do you consider your most treasured possession? My wife, obviously. My wife, obviously. Fantastic. And why is that? My strongest asset and my greatest cheerleader and uh, my greatest strength, by far. What song would you probably be caught dancing to? I don't know. Not in 2019. I can't remember. <laughs> No shaku shaku for us right now? No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, no. What, what is a typical lazy day for you? Very few. I'm not, um, I, I don't find myself in those circumstances, but let me tell you what I'd rather be doing if, if I'm not working. I would be in a spa, I would be in the gym, um, I, could, I could be having a massage for several hours. Um, that, yes, that would be my lazy day, obviously. What are the three things you can't live without? Very difficult question. I think my children and my wife, which is basically my family, um, that would be the starting point. If I can't find a sanctuary uh, where I'll be at peace with myself, um, to pray and things like that. It would be a very difficult thing. And obviously I like my people around me and people that I work with. Um, the day I can't do anything, I can't work anymore, I think 
My life will be in tatters. <laughs> so, your family, your sanctuary, and your work. Yes, very important to me. Fantastic. What's your favorite fashion trend right now? Just simple, being simple and classic. I think you look quite simple, but dapper as well. Uh, that's to you. Are those Louis Vuitton shoes? No, I don't even know where they are. <laughs> they're What's your idea of perfect happiness? Spending time with my children. Definitely. All right. What's your greatest fear? Failure. A bank run, for instance. <laughs> A well-rounded, perfect gentleman. Our heart goes out to the Wigwe family and the Ogumba, oh, Ogumba Job family. Tributes have continued to pour in. For Dr. Herbert Wigwe, Nigeria's President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, President of France, Emmanuel Macron, Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, Chairman of Hairs Holding, Tony Lumelu, and Bologna Philanthropist, Femi Otedola, among others, have paid tribute to Herbert Wigwe and Abimbola Ogumbanjo, who they describe as two of Africa's brightest minds. Tinubu, in his tweet, wrote, I am shocked and deeply distressed by the news of the passing of Mr. Herbert Wigwe, a distinguished banker, humanitarian, and entrepreneur, and Mr. Abimbola Ogumbajo, the former group chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group PLC, along with members of the Wigwe family, Herbert's wife, Chizoba, and son, Chizi. Their passing is an overwhelming tragedy that is shocking beyond comprehension. I extend my condolences to the Wigwe and Ogumbajo families the business community, and all those impacted by this harrowing incident. I pray for the peaceful repose of the departed and ask God Almighty to comfort the multitude of Nigerians who are grieving and the families of the deceased at this deeply agonizing moment. Well, in May 2023, Herbert Wigwe emerged as the president of the France-Nigeria Business Council, a council which brings together top businesses in Nigeria and France to improve business relations and to ensure routine cooperation for both countries. The president of France, Emmanuel Macron, took to Facebook to share his tribute. He wrote, France has lost a friend, Herbert Wigwe, president of the France-Nigeria Business Council, a humanistic and talented entrepreneur he tirelessly worked to strengthen the relationship between our two countries. Our heartfelt thoughts go to his family and loved ones. Dr. Ngozi Okonjoiwala also sent her tribute. She wrote, terribly saddened by the news of the terrible loss of Herbert Wigwe, Group CEO, Access Bank, his wife and son, as well as Bimbo Ogumbanjo, in a helicopter crash. My deepest sympathies and condolences to the Wigwe family, the Ogumbanjo family, Access Bank Group employees and management, and my younger brother, Herbert's partner, Aiboje Imokwede. May the souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. Ayo, I'm sure you'll help me out with some of these tweets. Um, yeah. You know that uh, Herbert Wigwe was instrumental in the growth of Access Bank, which he co-founded with his friend and business partner, Aiboje Imokwede. Uh, the Ike Foundation wrote in their tweet, they said, we're deeply saddened by the passing of Dr. Herbert Wigwe, CFR, a dedicated and respected member of our board of trustees. His leadership and dedication made a significant impact at the foundation, and his commitment to our mission was truly inspiring. We will miss his wise counsel and unwavering support. His legacy of excellence and impact will continue to inspire us in our mission. We pray comfort and grace for his family and loved ones as we navigate life with memories of him. Hashtag remembering Herbert Wigwe. All right. Well, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party also sent his tweet. Um, he wrote, I am deeply saddened by the tragic news of the passing of my dear friend, Mr. Herbert Wigwe, CEO of Access Holdings, along with his wife and his son, another close friend, Abimbola Ugubanjo, former group chairman of NGX Group. This loss is profoundly felt across the nation. I first met Herbert during his early days on the brink of starting his marital journey. I vividly remember assisting him 
in preparing for his traditional wedding and being there for the ceremony with his wife, Chizoba, from Machina, Anambra State. Since then, I've maintained a connection to his endeavors. In my own modest ways, Herbert, a determined and forward-thinking individual, led Access Bank to new heights following his brother, Aigboje Aigimokwede. His noteworthy contributions extend beyond the professional realm with commendable philanthropic efforts in health and education, exemplified by the establishment of Uyghur University, showcasing his deep commitment to education as a driver of development. The loss of such an exceptional individual reminds us of life's fleeting nature, encouraging us to live with a purpose that contributes to the betterment of humanity. Well, Tony Elumeli wrote, Tribute to great lights, true patriots. The news of Herbert Wigwe's and Bimbo Gumbanjo's untimely passing is terribly sad and distressing. Nigeria, indeed Africa, has lost two of our brightest minds. I admire them both and we all share the desire to drive Nigeria's transformation. Herbert was an exceptional talent committed to advancing the banking and financial sector in Nigeria with access holdings. Likewise, Bimbo's tenure as group chairman of the NGX group was distinguished by excellence. Both will be sorely missed by all. Their leadership and entrepreneurial drive will continue to serve as shining examples to millions of our young people. Well, uh, billionaire businessman Femi Otadala also took to Twitter. He wrote, I am shocked and saddened to hear of the loss of a banking genius, Herbert Wigwe, his dear wife, Chizoba, and first son, Cheesy. Exactly two weeks ago, Herbie and his wife hosted myself and Aliku to dinner at his newly built home in Lagos. I will cherish and fondly remember my memories of time spent together with him over the years. Herbie, we will all miss you. Your legacy will live forever. I'm not sure, you know, uh, over the weekend there was this tweet of Herbert Wigwe, which, you know, uh, people were saying he had some sort of premonition um, you know, ahead of his uh, demise. But this is Herbert. He's very encouraging. He knows how to um, uplift others. And this is one of his tweets that was trending on social media. Today and always, let us remember that life is a precious gift, a chance to breathe, feel, love, experience, and connect. Let's honor this gift by living with purpose, kindness, and gratitude, making every moment count. Let us remember our days. Well, Herbert Wigwe was among the 447 Nigerians conferred with national honors by President Muhammad Buhari. In October 2022, he received the commander of the Order of the Niger in recognition of his significant contributions and outstanding service to country. Dr. Herbert Wigwe is the representative of Dr. Herbert. Oh. Dr. Herbert Wigwe in person, fantastic. Congratulations, Dr. Wigwe, on this award. Your Excellency presenting Dr. Herbert Wigwe, congratulations to you. And Jubril Adewale. Well, Herbert Wigwe's philanthropic endeavors saw him set up the HOW Foundation, which is focused on education, health, youth empowerment and sustainability. The foundation has over the years committed several billions of Naira to upgrade and support 23 primary healthcare centers across River State in five years, train 75 doctors in Israel and the United States, as well as support the education of 13,000 <coughs> Al-Najiri children in Kaduna State, among several interventions. Dr. Wigwe recently founded Wigwe University, Africa's first Ivy League institution dedicated to providing a world-class education and raising the next generation of leaders. I will tell you something about being fearless. That powerful state of mind where you refuse to be constrained by the consciousness of your limitations, focusing on the joys of winning rather than the fear of losing. Many years ago at Cooper's and Libran, I could not have foreseen the great future that is now Access Corporation. But education from formal institutions and from the University of Life instilled in me all that was required. Each rung of the ladder of success with its mistakes and joys and sometimes pain unpacked life lessons that have shown me why and how to impact lives and generations. 
I'm a man on a quest to touch lives and rewrite the history of Nigeria and Africa. My name is Herbert Wigwe, and I am fearless. A man on a mission to touch lives and rewrite the history of Nigeria. Herbert Wigwe, you will surely be missed. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Dr. Abati. Okay, just two quotes uh, to add to the other comments that have been made. Albert Pike, American author, lawyer of the Southern jurisdiction, was the one who said, what we have done for ourselves alone dies with us. But what we have done for others and the world remains and is immortal. Albert Pike. And this you know, tweet from Albert Wigwe, life of purpose. There's no doubt that what he has done for the world and for others will be immortal. And it was George Eliot that told us that our dead are never forgotten until we forget them. Absolutely. In other words, there is no doubt that he will not be forgotten. Mm -hmm. The impact that he has made in various fields as articulated by Mr. Tedo Peterside earlier today and as shown uh, in your report and tribute. Thank you all. May his legacy live forever. That's all I have for you guys on What's Trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow.